Welcome to a very special Cow Chair Country episode. It's the Chick Chat episode. This is my friend Demay Rubens. Hi, Demay. Hey, Sue. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for inviting me. So we are going to chick chat about country music because I love country music. You love, love country, country music. music. Uh, and so one of the things that's come up for me many times, because as you know, I work for a radio station that does new music and I'm highlighting new artists that have new songs. And I get a lot of pushback where people go, I like new country. Yep. So we're kind of like, okay, well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this new country, old country thing. So how long have you been listening to country music? Oh, since the early 90s. Okay, early 90s. Okay, not before then. No, I, I in the early 90s, I listened to music that was made prior to that. Okay. But um, in the 90s is when I started. So I did listen to a lot of Garth Brooks. I did listen to a lot of... Um, Randy Travis mm -hmm. and Travis Tridd and God, Shania Twain. Oh yeah, Shania, absolutely love that girl. So uh, yeah, I mean that was and that was so that was the '90s. And I had I had somebody make a comment once who said, um, "Oh, I hate that new country. I really like the '90s country." And I'm thinking to myself, the '90s wasn't that long ago right? when it was it like it. when it was new. Yeah. And in the '90s, I think there was a lot of people who who got interested in country music. There was this big surge. Oh, for country music and like you mentioned, you know, Garth Brooks. Like yeah. that's huge. That's huge. And he's one of the ones that made it so popular, right? I mean, it was it was more available to the masses. People were more in, intrigued. And it wasn't, as I've heard many people say, it's not about my horse and my dog. And... <laughs> play, what do you get when you what do you get when you play a country music song backwards? Oh no. <laughs> your dog comes back, your mom, <laughs> your mom gets out of jail. Like yeah, all the stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your love comes back, all that stuff. <laughs> That's funny. I hadn't heard that before. That's funny. I didn't tell it quite right, but you get the gist of it. That's yeah, kind of the thing. It. Um, but yeah, I mean, in, in the 90s, that was still fairly new country. It was, yeah. You know, compared to, like, you know, you really want to go back the original Hank Williams. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, that's like the original, original, where mm -hmm. it's very twangy and, you know, the old, yeah. uh, you know, the fiddles and the, the steel guitar and all right. those things. And they kind of, you know, I think right now in new country, there's not a lot of fiddle steel guitars. I, I do no. know, I will say, John Party. Yeah does the fiddle really well. He oh, brings I that in. And I I, yeah. I appreciate He's like, when people go, oh, I don't really like new country. I'm like, listen to John Party. Yeah. Like, and then you'll be like, oh. And there are some, and I can't, of course, off the top of my head think, but there are some that have done a really good job of trying to cross that gap or bridge it at least. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I think one that fits fairly well is um, Thomas Rhett. Love Thomas Rhett. Well, and because of his dad and the influence from exactly. his dad, right? Yeah, so Rhett, it makes Rhett sense. Higgins. So that's, yeah, I mean, exactly. It's so funny because a lot of people don't realize that his dad was in country music back in the day, right? Because they don't have they, you know, it's Red well until Aiken, he had, so it, yeah, they don't exactly they didn't do the same names, and then I think until they had that one song together, I think yeah. it wasn't very obvious to people exactly. But he's done a good job of trying to bring in some some of the hints of the older stuff. Yeah, and I mean, you know, like we always say, like everything old is new again. Yeah, like it always comes around. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, what I'm really looking forward to, I mean, I like the new country, you know, yes, people go, oh, it's so poppy. And I'm like, it kind of is, some of it is. Some of it is. Some of it is very poppy and it's very, and there's a lot of crossover. There, well, but think about like Chris Stapleton. Oh God, I love him. That's like more classic, right? right. That's that real authentic, it, real it, gravelly. Oh, just It is, he's got that gravelly voice. He doesn't do the pop, he doesn't. Yep, exactly. But he still has um, just something that draws you in. Mm -hmm. And he, that voice I think is a lot of it, but. He just is a really talented guy. He, I, that's one of my favorites right now. And that's what I'm, I'm looking for where, okay, who are the new people going to be coming in to bring back like the steel guitar, like an element yeah. of the steel guitar? I think there's an opportunity in music right now, country music, to kind of draw back on oh, yeah. some of that his, history mm -hmm. and bring it forward and make it sound new again. Yeah, I was trying to think. There was one you had mentioned the other day when you and I were chatting. Um, Gosh, and I'm not going to remember the song. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> but at the beginning, he brings in that super old country song. and he Oh, thinks, yeah. It's, uh, yes. I know. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Sam Hunt? Oh, it is Sam Hunt. Sam Hunt. It is Sam, Sam, Hunt. Sam Hunt. Good job. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. I mean, I think that there's more opportunities for that. And it's going to help. It's going to help continue to bridge the gap. It's going to help the the younger generation, the people that have listened to the more poppy country, to, to expose them to that and have them go, oh, yeah, that's actually still the, pretty the, cool. The, yeah, it's still, it's still pretty cool. Um, but before we keep going, 
I have a bottle of wine open. Oh yeah, how did we? <laughs> and it's <laughs> Friday. It's so Friday, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So um, I have you know, as you know, we are in wine country yes. out here in California. Uh, so we do a fair amount of uh, imbibing into beverages. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, this is called Bella Cana Vineyards. They are in Windsor, California. Have a beautiful tasting room. I was there uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, had an, an amazing tasting experience. Mm -hmm. uh, the location, the wines, very, very nice. So I haven't tried it yet. I got one of these and I'm going to share with you so we can get this chit chat to keep going. Thank Here you, you go. Oh, look There's at one. For it. Beautiful. Get the little bubbles. And it, this is a Pinot Noir. And so uh, what I have done is, will you hold that for me? Of course, thank you. I need my assistant here. Uh, so these glasses are typically what you would use for a Pinot Noir. Uh, they, they tell you to use the big bowl. Yeah. Like, it's like soup. It is. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, thank yes. you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, that's, that's got a great nose. That's lovely. See, you get that nice big bowl, mm. and then you get all the aroma. Mm-hmm. Mm Oh, I love that. Mm. Okay, that's, this is how I know it's a good wine. I'm like, oh, I could drink the whole bottle myself. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, I'm just going to keep this here because, you know, then it's close by. Yeah, it's, it's very close by. We'll just keep it right here. So talking more about uh, some of the new country, do you have any mm -hmm. that are like kind of your favorites that are like the new yeah, stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I think Restless Road by far has been my favorite. Um, I stumbled across them on Instagram and the mashups are so clever. They're, they're, the way that they harmonize together. Yeah. Um, I think the first one I fell in love with that wasn't the mashup was um, One Step Ahead. Okay, okay. That's one of the ones. And then you had mentioned one to me recently that I just heard on. Um, yes, uh, I took one look at her mama. That's, yeah. That's her newest one. Yeah. And um, we're actually going to have them on the show, which I'm really oh. excited about. It's funny because Devane and I were talking before and I, I mentioned Restless Road. And they're new up, up and coming, mm -hmm. you know, trio. And she's like, oh my God, I love Restless Road. And I'm like, how do you know Restless Road? Like, that's awesome. And, yeah. uh, you know, and as you know, they're, they're touring for Kane Brown. And I mean, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's one amazing. to watch for sure. Agreed. Any, anybody else you think that? Uh, oh, uh, and I'm trying to think like how new is new. I, you, yeah. know, you mentioned Kane Brown. Love Kane uh, Brown. Love him. Very yes. talented. Um, Kelsey Ballerini again. Mm -hmm. New. How new? I don't know. Um, Casey Musgraves. Well, she's amazing. Yeah. Casey Musgraves. And you know what? I You don't hear enough of her on the radio. That's, yeah, I, I, I love her songs, and I don't feel like they play enough of her. What I am excited about is um, that with the new country, there's a lot more um, female artists yeah. coming on this. You, know, you got, you got Maren Morris. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How did I think I'd her? Terrific. She is amazing, too. Uh, Ingrid Andrus and oh, Tennille Arts. Tennille Arts. Oh, She's amazing too. Like these are good ones. So they are good ones. And one of the other things that I think is a great opportunity for them, and it also is introducing us and you know all of the other listeners, that when some of the other artists, especially the male artists, are bringing them in on their album or yes, on a song, totally. Oh, that is like, oh, who is that? I, that's actually one of the reasons why I even knew who Kel Kelsey Ballerini was. Oh, she's been on. Um, she's on it. She just, uh, I think she just did one with Kenny Chesney. She's oh, got nice. a new one coming out that's good. great. It's called My Hometown. Okay. Uh, and if that's an it's a new song to watch. It's coming out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love her. I got to see her in concert. Did you? Uh, it was on the on a on a cruise. It was a country oh, cruise. That's awesome. And I got to meet her. I met her in an elevator, <laughs> and I took a picture with her in an elevator. That's great. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, she's so cute. I just love her. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I really am appreciating that um, the women of country right now yes. are really taking charge. And I mean, there were a lot of country stars and old country yeah. that that were the ladies you know oh, yeah. june pam carter tillis. pam tillis june carter cash yeah. i mean but then you know you get in like the 90s we said yeah. you know shania twain shania. was like boom yeah she was like huge. she was huge and every and everybody's like oh my god i want to be shania all the girls are like i want to be shania yeah and then you you know then you get american idol carrie underwood and it's like oh, oh forget yeah. about it i mean got her voice she's she's a yeah she's a powerhouse and mm -hmm. yeah no no doubt about it but but i think those artists um you know them getting really really big yeah. paved the way for a lot of the new artists that are you know they're coming in and they're, yeah. like you said they're collaborating on different yeah. things and um yeah i just just found out about another another new gal who's collaborating uh with adam hambrick and i mean oh. i'm like okay i found her i'm like i gotta follow her now yeah uh these it's pretty cool you're gonna you're it. gonna run out of, of air time because you're gonna have too many people <laughs> exactly and they, and they just keep coming which is great you know, I, I really want to, you know, make sure that the new 
country artists and the songs yeah. are getting out there and they're they're getting their due because you know like anything i think um there's always a lot of really good stuff mm -hmm. and some people just get lucky yeah and it's amazing to think that in the day and age now with you know instagram and and facebook and youtube and that's how we're getting introduced to so many of these people because we wouldn't have stumbled across them otherwise it's, not, it's about who gets lucky enough to get picked up and put on the radio so exactly well that's i mean i'm finding a ton of these people on tiktok i yeah. mean i'm oh tiktok of course. tiktok's my thing man i'm like i'm like i've got to set a timer for myself okay no nope, cut it off you go Wait, that's you need smart. to stop <laughs> Look, it's an addiction it's terrible but i'm finding all these really cool people yeah. And I'm seeing a lot of them have success mm -hmm. in TikTok where oh, yeah. it's blowing up and then they're getting noticed. That's exactly so it. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. And I just, gosh, I was just actually listening on the radio the other day, um, and I'm not going to remember the artist. There was a, a hip hop artist, I think it was, um, that was coming out with a new album and it was his video. That's what it was on his video. They're all featuring TikTok artists that have gotten yeah. famous on TikTok. I was really like, what a great idea on his well, part, there you like go. marketing. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing TikTok Tuesdays on 93.7 The Bull here in Santa Rosa. So those are my uh, my top picks. And I get to play their song on the radio. So I'm getting some airplay for these folks. That's great. Um, I, you know, just like anything, especially music, you know, it's it's people creating something mm -hmm. and then really putting themselves out there. Especially these songwriters. They're, song, they're singing about, you know, I just I just talked to uh, Danny Taylor and she's a new, you know, new country artist. And she said, you know, I just I wrote about this this breakup oh wow you know yeah. and it was like it, and it was really bar it's real. it's bearing her yeah. her heart and her soul and it's that's scary to put that stuff out there so when people say oh i don't like the new country it's like but do you understand that they're creating art and they are really putting themselves out there yeah so um you just hit on a great uh story so my my sister and i went to nashville gosh i don't know maybe three years ago and we did a, a tour, just a foot tour with a, a guide and he was a songwriter, but he was telling us, you know, the history of Nashville and songwriting and really, and of course it's obvious, but he really reminded me that this is about telling a story. Yes. And the ones that really stick with us are the ones that either resonate with us or they told it so passionately that we can't ignore it. Yes. We were, I, I talked to Adam Hambrick. He's a big songwriter for, uh, you know, he's got number one hits for Dan and Shay and mm -hmm. Justin Moore. And he said the same thing. He goes, I like to paint in pictures with my words so that you can that. actually visualize it. So if he's yeah. if he's writing about, you know, his hometown, you're seeing your hometown and yeah. you know, you're, it's resonating with you yeah. and everything. And so um, and that's that's what I think the success, the successful songwriters are doing, uh, you know, and it's yeah. not about it shouldn't be about I'm going to write a number one hit. I got to get I got to get this thing. It's really, you know, from the heart. Yeah. And I think it has to be. I think, it, you know, we're. I'd like to think of us as too intelligent to fall for the, I'm just going to write a number one hit. <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> are we intelligent? <laughs> Another glass of wine we will be. Oh, man, we're getting smarter by the sip. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just here to chit-chat about country. Uh, we'd love to hear what you guys think about new country versus old country. What are your favorites? What were your influences? What what type of music, country music, did you uh, start with? Where did you, you know, I had, I started listening to, I was listening to Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard and Patsy Cline with mm -hmm. my parents when I was yeah. a kid. So I had all of those musical influences um, with finding this love for country. Yeah. Um, so we'd love to hear what you, where your love of country comes from. If you love the old country, great, let us know and let us know who you love. If you love the new country or you, you know of somebody uh, that's kind of an up and comer, we want to hear about that too. Absolutely. Um, and... If there's a topic that you would like for Demay and I to discuss on our next Chick Chat, you guys just let us know in the comments. So uh, thank you, Demay, for being here today. Oh my gosh, thank you. So much fun. Of Can't course. wait to do it again. We're gonna uh, we're gonna finish up a little bit of wine here. So don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok. I'm Sue Bonzel. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me everywhere. So just follow me. Let's be friends. It'll be fun. <laughs>